And welcome back to the Miss Drea Show, where I'm your host, Miss Drea. And here I have with me my lovely co host, the one and only Davi of the Wonder Twins. And here with us, we have gospel artist, Mr. Demo Denard. How are you? Hello, hello out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you. It is a blessing to actually be here. Just the, the avenues of uh, the, the journey of getting to here to know that the people you interviewed, I personally know. And I know this one personally. I haven't seen her in like years. Years. So I come around the corner and I was like, shut up. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. That's a blessing. Okay. 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 So I want to just thank you first off for coming out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. So tell me first off, just a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Originally from Detroit, Michigan, Motown City. Okay. Yeah, and so Motown how did City. you land here in Miami? Um, actually, um, to be a short story, I was actually born deaf. And when I was born deaf, um, the doctor said we, my mom had to move me to a warmer climate oh, um, after right. having uh, so many surgeries. Right. So at the age of six, I moved to Florida um, to have a better healing process. Okay. Um, but my parents had split custody, so I would do a half a year in school in Miami and then back to Detroit. Wow. And so it was kind of hard going, growing up, but then in my senior year, my dad let me stay here for the whole year um, you know, to go to school. And then I, I went back up to Michigan for a college. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 So when did you start seeing it? Oh, go ahead. Did you know? It's like, I didn't know that. Like, wow. yeah, that is funny. The power because knowing the story. I know this one. And, um, when we used to hang out with, you know, with friends, or whatever the case may be, I didn't do music. Uh -huh. So this, that's why my story is a little kind of crazy. I have family that always sang or whatever. Um, my uncle was the official drummer for the temptations. Okay. Wow. So I grew up knowing the temp stylistic dramatics, but you know, I was a kid. So there was these, tall adults walking around mm -hmm. with just music playing. So I, I love music and I did it as a hobby as far as like rapping, but I, I was never serious. Mm -hmm. What I did was I, I was a teacher. My mom mm -hmm. was a teacher and I taught for commercial businesses. So like a, well, I won't name drop a banking commercial businesses. Um, so what got me here was something tragic. And sometimes mm -hmm. God will allow Satan to attack you yes. to get it right. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to bump your head and you got to lose everything. To understand what your calling is for and um you know i was always silly and i love music and um god was saying i i need you to try to reach people that i just can't reach my lord um and there's a lot of people just like myself you know when they they hear gospel music they go oh that's boring i don't want to listen to it because it's old there's you know there's music evolves right. um and um and so what he wanted me to do was do music but you know, be, be in flesh, you know, do my mm -hmm. own thing. And so what happened was four years ago, I got carjacked here in Miami on Halloween night. And the guy pistol whipped me so bad, wow. put me in the hospital. And he, what he did is he broke cartilage in both of my eardrums. Oh, wow. So I had a two-year uh, ear growing infection. Mm. But I didn't, I didn't even know about it. Mm -hmm. I had no pain or nothing until like the, the night before I had this outraging pain in both of my ears. And I woke up completely deaf. And that's when I lost everything within months. My job let me go within 30 days. Um, I was supposed to be engaged. My fiance left. Oh, wow. um, I lost my house, lost the car, mm -hmm. everything. Friends that I had, they were gone. And so God was telling me, look, man, I, I got to delete some things out of your life. Mm -hmm. And that's some people, too. Mm -hmm. So um, he had to remove the bad, start replacing it with good. Now, here I am completely deaf, and this man is telling me to sing. I don't even sing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, okay, guy, you tripping. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. And, but I was at that point, I was really angry. I was like, man, I, mm -hmm. I don't get it. Like, what is the purpose of you taking everything from me? My mm -hmm. Lord. And then, you know, I don't bother anybody. If anything, I do is I try to help people. I make people laugh. You know, I'm always there. I got a huge heart. But he says, I got a bigger calling for you, man. And so... Um, I had surgery in this year. I'm 95% deaf. So everything that I do is, uh, if I take this out, I only got 5% hearing. So through the grace of God, it's so good. through the grace of God, mm. he allows me to be able to hold a note, stay on pitch and sing mm. um, with just 5% uh, hearing. Mm. Now with this, it brings me up to 50% hearing. That's where I'm able to do it. 
So do I have that fear every time I grab the microphone? Yes, but I pray about it. God comes and he's with me all the time. Wow. Yes. That that's funny. Powerful. Because it's something because I, I, I said, um, we were watching the video. I said, you're going to sing for us? And he was like, yeah, if you want me to. Yeah. No problem. And then, yeah, but, you know, just listening to you, and you was like, every time I grab the mic, I'm, you know, and I understand it. It's yeah, I mean, it, and it's, I mean, and I, I'm, I'm God-fearing, but I'm, I'm realist, and, and, you know, I hope I don't lose any of my followers, whatever the case may be, but the reality of it is there's a lot of hypocritical Christians out there. Come on, truth. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's what it is, and I feel that um, I want to portray the realness of it. No one is perfect. And I need the Christians to stop pointing at everybody saying, oh, you know what? You do this and you do that. But you're not God. There's only one perfect person here. So we all going to make mistakes. Our, our job is to try to do the best that we can for what we have. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to do. So even though I'm a gospel artist, I try to be funny. Um, one thing I try to do is uplift spirits. Mm -hmm. And that's either through my music or by me being silly or just inspirational speaking. And I, I used to do, I did a, a research mm -hmm. that when you go through a storm mm -hmm. or you're depressed or sad or angry or whatever, do you know when you laugh and when you smile, everything that you're going through is deleted mm -hmm. for those few seconds? Mm -hmm. So imagine if somebody like made you smile and laugh a little bit more while you was going through the storm. Come on. How you can get through it. Come on. So that's it. First of all, feeling your spirit mm -hmm. and knowing where we have come from and to see the move in the hand of God over your life, yes, yes. to hear your story. Um, and it's so funny today. If you get a chance, check out my Facebook post today. I was really talking about authenticity and talking about when theology and theodicy and theodicy is basically when we ask that question, God, why does bad things happen to good people? Yep. And really having those conversations where faith intersects our intersects our reality. There you go. And as believers, how we process, how we make life affirming affirmations, how do we encourage ourselves while we're going through in a storm? And, you know, a lot of times, you know, people be like, you, you shouldn't put all that on Facebook. You shouldn't say that. But listen, Jesus said greater works you would do. And the power of social media what gives you the church? access internationally globally you know what i'm saying i'm oh, sorry i don't want trying to go to church but no, you know no, but no, what's no, in no. you will come church. at you oh we about to you have know? church right now so so to hear that you use number one your story in your gifting that you had no clue that you had and how you empower and you inspire and you use your authenticity in your voice to encourage others and that's powerful because a lot of people don't use their power influence to encourage somebody else. So yeah, my mom, awesome. um, my mom, I, I wrote a song called uh, Footprints, and it's, it's a famous poem for those who know. And um, when I wanted to do it, you know, first I was doing it how I think people would want me to do it. And God was like, I don't, I'm not trying to tell you how I want you to feed it, how people, I want you to do how you would want to do it. How would you want to be heard? So I was like, I want people to get up, I want people to move. So the style of my music is, um, well, number one, God told me to sing. And I used to rap. And, um, but he was like, listen, I know you rap and you're really good at it. But I kind of want you to sing more than rap. So I was like, well, Jesus, you know, um, my vocal cords ain't all that good when it comes to singing. And so he was like, you can sing. You just don't do it. Mm. So I was like, all right, cool. So um, the style that I have is um, it's a little bit of hip hop, but more R&B and neo soul. Okay. Um, so it has a nice little jazzy feel to it. And that's from that's the Detroit upbringing that I got. You know, um, my mom's being a singer, my grandparents being singers. So that's the feel of my music. And it's the journey. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody has their own individual walk. God has told you your individual walk. God has told your individual walk. So I can't talk to you about your, I can't judge you about your walk. Right. And I can't judge you about yours. So why should you judge me about mine? Right. So the way when I carry myself and I, I'm acting all silly and I'm high energy, it's because I choose not to be depressed about my situation. Mm -hmm. I can easily be like, you know what? I'm 95% deaf. Please help me. Woe is me. No, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling sorry for me. And I don't want anyone to feel sorry about their situation. There's mm -hmm. always a way. I'm trying to make the impossible possible. And I'm doing it mm -hmm. because God is with me. Mm -hmm. Man, that's the message okay, that okay. I've been getting. Okay. That nothing is impossible. I that's there you right. go. That's right. Nothing is impossible. Right. The word impossible says I'm possible. I'm possible. Uh. Come on now. Yeah. I'm feeling like a, I needed like a this creamy filling with Oreo cookies with two beautiful women inside. Smash. That's how I'm feeling right now. All right. I'm sorry. 
Okay, so I see here you do have. Yes, I brought you a, a gift. This okay. is the album. I appreciate it, and I hope that you like it. Um, it's um, it's a journey, and it, it has a song on there for everyone. Um, if you lost someone, um, if you were doubting your faith, it's a nice journey, and I think you will enjoy it. And if you guys look forward to listening, to want it. some good music that has a nice little roller coaster ride on it. That's check it. Check out Demo Denard. You. Might surprise you. And it is titled The Journey. The Journey. So, and you've been saying that, you know, yep. very frequently. That's right. Plant it. And plant seed. Yeah, it is Gotta plant seed. So, must see. Where must can see. they find this at? They can find it on uh, my website, which is www.demodenard.com. Okay? okay. I'm also on every search engine you can buy music. So that's Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. Okay. Everywhere. Um, just type in Demo Denard. Um, and you find me the, my website is my hub. So if you want to get right. to me, as far as my social media, just go to my www.demodenard.com um, and my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube is Demo Denard uh, Uplifted. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. On this CD titled The Journey, what is your most favorite song? Oh, that's hard. Okay. And uh, I, know, I know it's going to so, be hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's you know, hard. Um, I think. Is is a tie between two because, um, and it's a blessing when God uh, he, God p puts people around you to help you on your journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like for instance, this project, you it, it takes teamwork right. to do this. Right. So you just can't do it by yourself. You might have the vision, mm -hmm. but now you need a team to put it together. Right. Yeah. So when God was telling me to sing, and I didn't really know how to sing. Excuse me. So I needed to find someone who was patient enough to work with a hearing impaired artist. Mm -hmm. You know, that's got to be frustrating. You know, yes. dang, man, this man can't hear. He can't hear the pitch that I'm trying to do. So Julio Ferrer, Antonio. big engineer Julio Ferrer, an amazing musician. He worked with me on the entire album. He is a blessing. Wow. He taught me my pitch. Mm. And um, I, the thing is, what a lot of people don't understand is that since I'm 95% that I have to work 10 times harder to keep up with regular artists. Mm -hmm. So I have to constantly practice and practice my tones and pitch and timing mm -hmm. so I'm not off beat or off pitch or whatever. So I got to, it's 10 times harder for me, but God says put in the work and the blessings shall come. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So what? Oh, well, I didn't even ask a question. Okay. So the question <laughs> is, um, there's a song that I wanted to portray, God wanted me to portray about love. Okay. Um, and there's nothing wrong with spicing up your marriage, nothing even wrong though you're, you're a Christian, you know, Christianity, nothing wrong with spicing it up. So I wrote a song called Bible Next to Mine. And the, the, uh, the story of that is basically um, there's this man who's um, in church mm -hmm. and he sees beautiful women. Oh, man, we all do it. You know, you see a fine sister at church, you're like, dang, she, she fine. Well, it's sitting next to me. Is that your room? So the mental thought was, dang, I want her to sit next to me and put her Bible next to mine. So that I can get the opportunity to try to talk to her. So the song is called Bible Next to Mine. But technically, the twist is they're already married. So he's fantasizing about his wife. Mm. And so that's what it's all about. And um, everybody seems to love that song. We're actually going to be doing wow. a music video for it next Dope. year. Right now, I'm currently in my first uh, independent Christian film. So I'm, I'm blessed that God is opening doors. Oh, congratulations. Yes, yes. It's called Devil Enough is Enough. We're in the midst of filming right now. Wow. Um, so God is just opening um, a lot of doors for me. So after we shoot this movie, I go right into Bible Next to Mine. Oh, wow. Hopefully, if you want me to sing that song for you, I'll... I would love to. Right, yeah, that All right. sounds hot. I'm going to sing to both of y'all and everybody out there yes. and fans, too. That's right. Put some Jesus in y'all life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So is there... Um, you just released this. Yes. Okay. And how's it been going for you? Um, so you know what? I haven't gotten a report yet, but for some reason, I've heard back that it is amazing. Everybody tells me their own individual song they like the most. Right. Um, and they're like, oh, but the one that ever got the biggest buzz is Bible Next to Mine. They okay. just love, they love the story. They love the groove of the song. And even older kids, because, you know, it's, since it's a soulful sound, you know, we got the trendy stuff and then, you know, the trap mm -hmm. stuff. But the younger kids are really adapting to it. So my thing is this, is that once you hear my music, you're like, wait, is that? Yeah, that's gospel. That's gospel. Right. So it's too late because I done got you now and I got right. your ears. Now you heard gospel. So now you're like, oh, you know what? Gospel's not all that. 
all that bad. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And I got the trend from that when Mary Mary started doing stuff. Oh, yeah. They would flip the R&B and yeah. the hip hop. And yeah. it was like dope to me. And I was like, hey, yeah. I like this. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Not taking away from the old school trilogy because that's what I was raised up on. Right. But everything evolves. Right. And to grab these younger youths. You have to grab them. I got to I gotta flip it. So what I've been doing, I'm doing uh, kind of like Ice Cube beat jacking. I'm taking <laughs> trendy stuff that's out in the streets and i'm flipping into gospel i just took one song i'm actually when i leave here i go right into the studio uh big ups to moonshine brown moonshine brown's one of our producers that's a dude from uh uh he's produced with uh outcast and uh sleepy brown and okay. goody mob mm -hmm. so big ups to moonshine um so i'm getting ready to leave here go straight there so you got to put in the work right see satan right. don't like the fact like right now satan mad Oh, yeah. Oh, he mad right now. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, she got a show. She doing all good and stuff. She got some good. Oh, she done bought a gospel artist. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So he mad. But um, you got to put in the work. You got to right. put in the work. And that's what I want to instill everybody. Listen, regardless of your situation, let me tell y'all something. Y'all have a blessing every day that you downplay. Do not downplay your miracles every day. And I'll tell you I this right it. now. If you are able to see, feel, touch, taste i know a man that that lost his taste buds mm. so he can't even enjoy food anymore Not so that. imagine those little things that that we have as blessings that we continuously downplay and then on top of hearing mm. the one thing that really messed me up when i lost my hearing and i was trying to find my way i love me i love music i can't listen to music anymore mm. i love watching movies can't watch movies anymore i love holding conversations i gotta go back to referring to reading lips the one thing that topped it off is when I went to church and it was on mute. Mm. And that's when I got angry mm. and I got frustrated. And I was like, why am I even here? Mm. What's the purpose, God? Because I, I can't even hear anything. So what's the purpose? And he said, be still. Be still. Just be still. Be patient. I know you upset. There's a reason. I, and I, I used to hate that. You know, when you go through something, they go, there's, there's a, a reason. reason. I hated that saying. But now I got it. There was a reason he needed to remove a lot of bad things out of my life and open my life to something lighter and brighter for me. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's not about me. Mm -hmm. I um, Just a quick story. This is a female pastor. She had a small church. I don't care what church it is. It was a small church. And she used to have these gatherings of young adults coming to uh, like Golden Corral. They have breakfast and they talk about God and life decisions because they're young adults getting ready mm -hmm. to you know, take on the world, get jobs, become, you know, make families and whatever not. So I'm there and I'm singing. I'm telling them my testimony and they loving it. The second song, this voice was in my head and it kept saying, there's somebody hurting an audience. Somebody's hurting the audience. And it messed me up on my timing. So I messed up and I apologized to everybody. And I was like, listen, I'm sorry for messing up. Um, but some voice is telling me somebody's hurting the audience. As soon as I said that, the voice said, point to the girl in the back. And it was this young girl. She was with two teenage boys in a booth. And I pointed to her, she starts crying. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm like, okay, what do I do now? So God said, console her. So I said, listen, since I'm covered with the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. so are you. And she cried, everybody clapped. The very next day, another girl hit me up on Facebook. She said, I thank you for coming. You saved my life. Mm -hmm. And I, it smiled. It, it just brought joy to my heart. And I was like, well, how did I do that? She's like, because I was planning on committing suicide before mm -hmm. I came to see you. So I was like, what? So she's like, yeah, I, w I was raped from the age of four to 12 from my uncle. Mm -hmm. When I told, my family exiled me. That was my mom's best friend, and she resented me for doing that. I've been wanting to kill myself ever since. Mm -hmm. I had planned on killing myself when I left. But when I heard your testimony, you made me want to sing again. Mm -hmm. Once she said that, I knew that it was bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I needed this tonight. That's all I, I know, say. right? It, this is a lot. God got jokes. God got jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is a he's hilarious. It's like all right time. now. I know he like the, he like demo. I know you happy right now. I'm like, yes, all I time. am. Yeah. Two two beautiful sisters on animal TV. What? Right. Somebody needed to I hear that. Tell some, mama. What's up? <laughs> I'm on TV. Somebody needed to hear no, that. No, but I my whole point is as I want to instill joy. You can do it too. Um I just uh just two weeks ago, God told me. Hey, give. I don't really have money to give. When you're doing this, sometimes mm -hmm. it's not about the money. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes it's about passion and helping people. Mm -hmm. So what I did is um, there was this lady who reached out to me. Um, she had four children, 
and they were staying in a hotel room. I'm like, where's your family? She's like, my family's not helping me, whatever the case may be. So I'm trying to figure out how can I help her and I didn't have the money to. So I said, listen, well, I would at least like to pray for you. And she was kind of reluctant because I guess she was dating somebody and the guy came over, he tried to push up on her in front of her four children. Mm -hmm. So I was like, listen, I'm, I don't want to come in your hotel. If you just want to come, I just want to pray for you. What she didn't know, she was like, okay, cool. So I was like, all right, cool. I went to, uh, I went to um, Wal I mean, Walmart. And um, I'm on food stamps. I ain't ashamed. So right. I'm sorry. I'm struggling. Hey, 95% deaf. What can I say? Uh, I took my personal food stamps and I, I bought everything for her and her four children. And, um, and I, I rolled up and I gave it to her. And she just teared up and started crying. She's like, why did you do it? I was like, God told me to. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, that's what I did. The very two days after that, Satan was pissed off. He was like, man... You, you really listening to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break in your car and steal everything. Mm. And I lost all my music, mm. my laptop, my wallet, whatever. God be the glory. No problem. I still give God the glory. The very next day, Bloodline called me and said, hey, we want you to come act in the keys. I got that money right back. Come on. Wow. That's how God worked. I need to hear that. That's how God worked. <laughs> I need to hear that. Will you be performing anywhere soon? Si, senorita. <laughs> yes, I will. yes yes i will um i'm performing tomorrow um don't make me lie about the church Ooh, geez, get they me. gonna get you. there's a church in miami i'm performing miami. there i know i am so I'm, follow, go on my facebook i'm a i'm a repost it or whatever um but i'm performing tomorrow night and i'm performing on christmas day down oh, in the city of miami i don't know the addresses she threw me off guard y'all Cause I wasn't ready. Why? Why That's you? Why you tell me? You got those artists. You could have told me that you were ready. Of course, I gotta be prepared. I'm sorry. I know. So the next time I come back, we'll just we'll practice. Okay. Right. Was this? Oh, this is like a freestyle thing. Yeah. yeah oh. see, that's it's impromptu. Yeah. Well, that's good. This is a good show because they just throw you completely <laughs> off. I was not prepared. Was you said you gotta be. You gotta be ready in season <laughs> yeah, and out of right? season. Okay. You gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared when you come to the show. But that's yep. good. They keep you on your toes though. That's good. Yeah. So, so when will? How can we get the information of where you're going to be performing and when? Listen, I need y'all to just go on my Facebook. It's okay. the simplest thing. I don't know if they can't. I don't know if you can, but Demo Denard. This is that simple. Everything is Demo Denard. If you go on my website, demodenard.com, but if you're too lazy to go through the website to get to Facebook, just go on Facebook and type in Demo Denard. It's this skinny, bald dude with a beard just like me. I think it's me. Yeah, it's me. And you just hit the friend thing and I'll recept. I'm the type of person I accept friends. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, and I'll go places where I, I say this. I go where where the the heathens go. Okay. And those those like are the ones that need to get saved. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there's some in the church too, but you know, yeah. right now, you right. Know what I'm They'll so. get there. Okay. 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 <laughs> They're getting fair, right? So They'll get there. Are you gonna? You want to sing here? Yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all want me to? to we got to set it up. Whatever. Set I mean, do you want right. to stand Bible up? Do you Bible, right? right here. I can. It. I can sit down and you know what? I might want to sing right between y'all because okay. you know I feel Go like ahead. Oreo cookie. <laughs> Tis the Go season honey. to give. Yes, Jesus is given to me. Yes, I'm he sitting is. on this seat right now. What yes. are y'all doing? Watching? Great. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't feel the energy up here. It's awesome. Well, the energy is crazy dope right now. <laughs> okay. 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 So here we have. I'm gonna introduce you. Uh, I don't know. Wait, should we set up the what music? Track? You just want what me to track? sing freestyle? I mean, how y'all? Um, the track ready? How, how do we? I mean, I can. Okay, so you can you can freestyle it. You want me to freestyle it? Yeah. I I can I can I can freestyle if y'all want to. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right right the second like right now or right we gonna now. cut and we gonna come back. You ready right now? I'm ready right now. Okay. Well, we we ready. Okay. Too? <clears throat> um, you walk right in the church. You got on a dress that I like, looking like you're coming from work, and your shoe game is looking so nice, so nice. I wish that she could sit right next to me. Maybe we can read a scripture from one to three. Oh, wait a minute, is the usher working over here right next to me? Then he pointed my direction, said, go ahead and take a seat, take a seat. I think I feel that God just went and blessed me. But I got to keep my cool, because she, she put a Bible next to mine. Hey, she put a Bible next to mine. 
Father God, I hope my time is right. Because every good man needs a Christian wife, Christian wife, Christian wife. See? Yeah, so but y'all gotta hear with the smooth groove is gonna it's gonna take y'all. Right, right, right. But you can hear yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Well, you, did you feel the yeah, rhythm? Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. You took us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you was, painted. I like how you yeah. painted that picture. I was right at the church. But it's the yeah. truth. Like when you see your woman, you're like, men are visual. I had to tell the truth. I hate the fact that people are lying on these records and they don't want to tell the truth. Look, if I see y'all in a dress, I'm looking. <laughs> keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. And I love a woman with some beautiful heels. We're looking. Now, what's wrong with doing that with your wife? Nothing no wrong. problem doing it. Keep the spice in y'all marriage. Keep the spice. Because the divorce rate is crazy it's, right now. Especially in the Christian households. What? It's higher than the Christian households. Man, the shoot it. Passes sleep with people. I'm like, hey, y'all need to stop it. Stop you need it. to cut it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. She, she said it. You need to I didn't say it, but she said it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's been a pleasure having you here tonight. Oh, yes. yes. It has been a complete blast. I thank you guys for having me. If you guys ever want me to come back, I will. Anytime. I would love to come back. Um, I will end it with this. Please don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Mm. Um, give God all the glory. Stop giving Satan all the energy. Don't mm. do it. That's and good. for those who tell you you can't do it, that means they work of Satan. Mm -hmm. And I will end it with this. If you do have haters, that means you're doing something right. That's right. So remember, uh, DemoDenard.com on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Uh, new movie is coming out. Baba Next to Mind uh, video is coming out next year. And um, just stay tuned, guys. Perfect. Bless. Tell them where they can follow you at one more time. They can follow me on www.DemoDenard.com or on Facebook, DemoDenard, or on Twitter, DemoDenard, or on YouTube, DemoDenard. Uh, what else did we miss? Did I miss anything? Instagram? Nope. Snapchat, Instagram, Demo Denard. It's I'm simple. I want y'all to find me so I can find y'all and bless y'all. I think that's pretty much about it. That's good. I think I got you. I got you. You got me. I got you. Yeah, I got both of y'all. Yeah. Okay. We connected. So We're connected. I'm connected. <laughs> I'm, I'm well connected. I think I'm. Yeah. I think I'm down now. I would love to have you back whenever you release your next album or the next thing that you plan on doing big. Just feel free to come back by the Mystery Shows. Yes, Pleasure to have you. I will. Thank you. God bless y'all. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You God bless you too. Please stay tuned to the Mystery Show. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll have so much more.